So, you know, how are you guys enjoying the time spent on Uproar? Uh, we're having a blast, actually. We're, um, the most fun tour we've ever been on. Yeah. I mean, it's just so well run, and not to mention, you know, just a little bit of events that we pulled. That's that word. Hell yeah. Uh, sorry, say it again. What are your plans for after the Uproar Tour is finished up? For, for after Uproar, yeah. we are, um, we go to Japan. We have a show, a festival in Japan, a wild park. It should be our first time over there. We're pretty excited about that. And then, uh, then we go to Europe with Disturbed, Upper Boots, and the Taste of Chaos. Oh, that should be. Well, that should definitely be exciting. Uh, we're going to time in Europe this year, and uh, we love it over there. We, we have such a good time, you know? Definitely. So, what is That's this? kind of line up. Yeah, so what is this I hear about a possible EP of, of cover cover songs? Uh, we're working on it. We don't, we don't know what, what, we haven't decided yet what exactly we're going to do, but uh, we're going to do something like that. We're, we're going to go in the studio hopefully in October to hash something out, so I guess we better get it cracking. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, I know, we're play. I know you were um, taking requests from fans and things on the website. Is there anything really strange that's come in so far? Hey, Someone wants to do some Frank Zappa. <laughs> Interesting. Like, maybe Snakes, do you hear that song? Um, I don't think so. Baby! It's, it's a great song. I love it, but it's it a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> it's, it's awesome, but it's like, I don't know. You know, we kind of want to play some songs that we can make our own, you know, and own them, you know? Oh, definitely. So, you know, how happy are you with the success? Like, um, you know, Familiar Taste of Poison is the latest single, so how happy are you with the success of that? Uh, it's pretty cool. We're, uh, it, you know, we, we had a single for the third one because of being able to play it live and move it off iTunes sales and the most besides the two previous singles and Familiar Taste of Poison and was the most sold after those and it was one of the most requested and but like, well let's just do what the fans want to hear and put it out of it you know I'm you know, the set in the 40s like murder mystery mm -hmm. So how do you guys 
kids enjoy the bigger festivals, you know, like Uproar Fest, you know, versus the smaller club shows? I love them both. They're both different animals, you know. The, the small club shows are awesome because the, the energy is small crowd, you know, especially if they're packed in there, can give back to you. Mm -hmm. is, is big as the biggest festival show, you know. Right. Definitely. Instead, you, you, you play a big festival show. We've got a few. Hey, look, we, I think we played for 60,000 people in Kansas City and we've got some of the big festivals in Europe and stuff. And they're unreal. I mean, they, we go out and we try to throw out as much energy as we can, you know. And now, uh, we right away in the first few songs and you can always tell what a crowd is like. It depends on, you know, mm -hmm. what's they give back. And, um, and if there's a big crowd giving it back as much as you're putting out, then time goals for the band where you see yourself you know in the next five years oh uh, just keep keep on keeping on one, one foot in front of the other that's how it's always been you know it's, uh, everything everything seems to happen to us when we're ready for it which is good i guess but it just takes forever and we've been a band over 10 years mm -hmm. and getting signed with them sometime soon. <laughs> uh, thank you for taking the time. Oh, no problem at all. Enjoy the rest of your day. 